Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping on Wednesday, October the 1st. This is my Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report. If you're sort of curious about the bizarre headwear here, folks, uh, my handicapping day starts around 1 o'clock when the data from Belmont Park comes in. goes until around 9 o'clock at night after I finish up the races from Southern California. What uh, entertains me as I'm doing my work here in the office is uh, I have serious radio, serious satellite radio, <clears throat> playing through the internet and one of my favorite afternoon shows he comes on just about the same time that I start typing my report from Belmont is a guy named Bubba the Love Sponge I've uh, talked to him a couple of times he used, occasionally has used my picks on his show and uh, he just sent me a care package with a whole bunch of Bubba hats so if you get a chance to listen to Bubba turn him on and tell him Rick sent you let's go to Belmont Park first race 6 3.36 p.m. Eastern post time it's a mile test on the dirt Three year olds and up in a claiming race. The purse today is $46,000. Contenders number 1A, Diamond Isle. Number 6, Prince of Iron. Number 2B, Packer. And number 7, King Mo Bay. Number 1A, Diamond Isle, is the overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at the mile distance on the dirt. Has hit the board in five straight, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Cornelio Velasquez has been in his irons on four previous occasions, hitting the board in each, including a trio of wins en route to a positive 314% profit in the process. Velasquez is back for today for his fifth ride. Number six, Prince of Iron, posted a win in his fifth race back, comes off back to back to back, power on place finishes in his last three starts. Race six summary, <clears throat> number one A, Diamond Isle, tops my contenders list, which also includes number six, Prince of Iron, number two B, Packer, and number seven, King Mo Bay, one, six, two, seven, in the sixth from Belmont Park. Out west we go next to Southern California's Oak Tree at Santa Anita Meet, a 1 p.m. Pacific post for the race one opener, six and a half furlong sprint on the cushion track, three year olds race for a purse of claiming purse of twenty of thirty three thousand dollars. Contenders number two, South Bay Scotty, number five, the car guy, number four, Storm Brave, number six, Yankee Visionary. Number two, South Bay Scotty is both the speed and pace profile leader in this claiming field today, spurning at her about six and a half furlongs on the dirt, goes to the post for the Wednesday opener with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of Rafael Bejarano, Mike Mitchell in his corner. They've hit the board with 68% of their entry saddle as a team to date, producing a positive 45% profit in the process. Race one summary number two, South Bay Scotty tops my contenders list, which also includes number five, the car guy, number four, Storm Brave, and number six, Yankee Visionary, two, five, four, six, and the race one opener on Wednesday from Oak Tree at Santa Anita. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Suffolk Downs in Massachusetts first, race five, the ten to one bomb, number six, Pesta, Trackmaster plus Power Pony qualifier. The overall speed leader in this claiming field racing at her about today's distance of 8.3 furlongs on the dirt. The race at Woodbine up near Toronto today as well, race two. Number three, Highvale, a six to one shot as the overall speed leader in this claiming field racing at her about today's distance of eight and one half furlongs on their cushioned dirt track. So from both Belmont Park and Santa Anita Park in Southern California, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, and of course for my buddy Bubba the Love Sponge, reminding you as always to please get with your head, not over.